I'm excited about the game tomorrow, um, obviously because of the fans. Um, I, I wasn't uh, here when Portland was, uh, you know, part of the MLS, so I haven't actually been here and played here before. So I'm excited. You know, I hear so many great things about, you know, how uh, they support the Portland Timbers here and and um, how much fan support they have, you know, even throughout the city. And, you know, like I'm excited to, you know, play in front of those fans, you know. Um, I hear they got a, a chainsaw, I think, when you score a goal or something like that. I don't know if they'll do that with us if we score. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I've, I'm really excited about the game, you know, uh, you know, to see the fans and obviously playing, you know, the Gold Cup being at home. It's a, it's a great uh, opportunity for us. Well, we hope that the crowd is what we see every week in MLS and, and that they're behind us. Um, you know, it's always a little tricky for a hometown team to support guys that they're probably usually rooting against. But um, I think when we all put on our national team jersey and come out to watch a national team game that uh, we're all one and we hope for the same atmosphere tomorrow. It's no secret that around the MLS, the uh, Pacific Northwest is, is is big now. It's booming when it comes to, to football. So, you know, I'm excited. Um, I got a taste of it in Champions League playing against Seattle. And, you know, I, I've heard and seen plenty on TV about Portland, so I'm excited to experience it. Well, the MLS has a huge uh, part of the development of the national team, you know, because uh, it's, it's the foundation of the professional game in this country. So. We want to see our youngsters coming through MLS. We want to see them develop through our system here, you know, starting with, you know, obviously the club system, the academies, all the way up to MLS. You know, we want to give the, the players a path, you know, to at very early ages to go through. And I think that foundation is getting stronger and stronger. It's not there yet, like in other countries, but it's getting better and better. And we, with the national team program, we want to kind of continue on that work, you know, that is done in MLS and give those players also the opportunities to break into the national team roster. I said from the beginning on that I don't really uh, care much where they play as long as they play at their highest level possible, and that they challenge themselves and they always look for the next opportunity. You know, if they play brilliantly here in MLS and they prove a point, then uh, the same with the players down in Mexico if they do that or wherever they play in Europe. But for us coaches, it's important that they never get content, that they never kind of stop at a certain moment, you know, that they always look for the next opportunity out there. And I think, you know, the growth of MLS is, is tremendous. You know, it's, uh, it's not even 20 years old, you know, and look where it is, you know, soccer specific stadiums, now atmospheres like here in the Northwest, it's just, just uh, wonderful to see, you know, teams all over the place now soon, a 20th franchise with the team in New York, you know, so it has a big, part of the national team program as well. So we work hand in hand with each other uh, and we try to improve it on different levels. And it's, and it's exciting to see because the youngsters should come through MLS.